What would happen if you consume fish oils, omega-3 fatty acids for about a month, 30 days? Very interesting things. So let's do a deep dive into this topic. Many people get their omega-3 fatty acids from fish oils. Other people get them from cod liver oil. The difference is that cod liver oil has some additional things, vitamin A and vitamin D, but both of them have omega-3 fatty acids. So let's dive right in, starting with the brain. 25% of all the fat in your brain is that specific DHA type of fat. And most of it is in the frontal cortex, the part of the brain that supports memory, focus, concentration, attention. So specifically, DHA supports the integrity of the membrane around the neurons. So what does that mean, integrity of the membranes? Well, in the membrane around the neurons, you have a lot of things happening. You have these little pumps that allow communication to go back and forth. You have protection against that neuron from various things. And one thing about the brain is you do not want inflammation in the brain. Now, I will point out that your body can make DHA, okay? It can make some, not much. And it gets it from other foods that actually can be converted into DHA. And that precursor or substance is called ALA. And that's in walnuts, that's in chia seed, flax seed, but the conversion is very, very small. So unless a person consumes something from the sea, chances are they're not gonna get a lot of DHA. DHA supports the retina, okay? The retina is neurological tissue in the back part of the eye that picks up information from the environment and it pulls it into the brain. It has little photoreceptors and 60% of all the fat in that retina is DHA. So it's very, very important. It's important to protect you against inflammation. It's important to UV radiation and protect against macular degeneration. Then you have these omega-3 fatty acids in your skin. It makes the skin real smooth. It protects the skin against things like acne, psoriasis, eczema, dry skin, red skin, as well as ultraviolet light. Now we need a certain amount of ultraviolet light to help make vitamin D, but really only one tenth of that spectrum of UV light is designated for making vitamin D. The rest of the UV can create problems for our body, but omega-3 can protect our skin from UV radiation. There's even an association between DHA, omega-3 fatty acids, and your bones helping to mineralize bone decrease the risk of osteoporosis. A lot of people take omega-3 fatty acids to help with arthritis in the joint or any inflammation in the joint, as well as getting rid of inflammation in the liver, which can then turn into scar tissue. So it helps all three problems with the liver, scar tissue, inflammation, and fat in the liver. Another benefit of fish oil is to help balance out your blood sugars, specifically making insulin more sensitive. Because so many people have insulin resistance and they have prediabetes and diabetes, omega-3 fatty acids can help turn that around. Now, there's also another interesting connection between insulin and omega-3 fatty acids. You need insulin to allow these fatty acids to go in the body. But when you have insulin resistance, the cells actually have a deficiency of insulin, and that alone can actually inhibit the amount of omega-3 going into the cell. Thus, all the problems that people have when they have insulin resistance with inflammation. Because if you're not able to absorb omega-3 fatty acids, your inflammatory markers will go higher. And then we have the very important purpose of supporting the inside of the arteries, keeping the inflammation very, very low. So you don't develop calcium deposits or cholesterol formation in the arteries. People that have asthma and allergies can benefit from fish oils as well. It's been known to help reduce those symptoms. And then of course, we have all the reproductive benefits, supporting the survival of sperm, also supporting the egg that's released from the ovary. So omega-3s are very important in increasing fertility and also supplying some really important raw material for this baby that's growing inside the mother. And even if you're sore after exercise, omega-3 fish oils can help you get rid of that inflammation and speed up the repair process. Now, a couple problems with fish oils. Number one, don't go on price. You're gonna get something that's probably rancid, something that's already oxidized. Much of the fish oil that's sold ends up going through China in the processing of these fish oils. So you really, lose control of the supply chain and don't really know what's happening at that level. And of course, manufacturing companies use China because you can get a much cheaper product. The other thing to worry about with fish oils is contamination with heavy metals, lead, arsenic, mercury. So it's really important to know the source of where your omega-3 fatty acids come from. Is that part of the ocean clean? Is it healthy? You'd be surprised, some of the top brands 
I mean, it's like, it's the worst quality you could possibly get. You end up burping and belching and you can just taste the rancidity of that oil. Now I will say that fish oil or cod liver oil is going to taste a little bit like fish, but there's a huge difference between rancid fish oil and just fish oil. And also on the flip side, if it has absolutely no fish smell or taste at all, you might not even be getting actual fish oil. But I think the best way to take it is in a pearl so you can swallow it. So there are options. Plus you can get your omega-3 fatty acids from consuming fatty fish, wild caught salmon, herring, mackerel, sardines, shellfish. There's even omega-3 fatty acids in grass-fed animal products, grass-fed cheese, grass-fed yogurt. But personally, I get my omega-3s from cod liver oil because it has an additional vitamin D and vitamin A. And for more information about cod liver oil, I put this video up right here. Check it out.